Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Brandon Bro, and welcome back for another video of building a real life claptrap. And this time, we're gonna be prototyping Claptrap's drawer. Where once in a while, he decides to give us some goodies. So stick around and get excited, because we're about to begin. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So when I began this project in the overall Claptrap build, I soon began to realize that I was gonna run into some problems. After looking at some in-game screenshots, I realized that there were absolutely no sides to Claptrap drawer and only a flat bottom. So I was gonna have to deviate from the original artwork a little bit because when you Think of a typical drawer, maybe it's in your kitchen or somewhere, it's got sliders on the side, normally. And to make this easier on myself, I decided that that was probably gonna be the best course of action, so that's what I went ahead and went with. And after taking some rudimentary measurements inside of the claptrap frame that we built in the last part, and there were a lot of measurements taken, I decided that an 8 inch drawer depth was probably going to be the best number for us to work with. That would give the drawer opening enough room to place usable items within, but also to leave enough room inside of the frame for any additional items that I may choose to put in there in the future. Let's not waste any time though, let's get into the components and into the build. So now that we've got the drawer all built up, the last part to do really is the electronics. And I'll be honest with you, I completely forgot to record this part, but I want to at least give you guys a walkthrough of what the different components are and kind of the layout. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so here we have all the electronics all laid out. And up at the top, we have the Arduino Uno, the A4988 stepper motor driver, and then the HC05 Bluetooth module. We have power coming from the Arduino to the breadboard, which is in turn powering the stepper motor driver and the Bluetooth module. Between the Bluetooth module, I know it looks really confusing, but we have the serial connection going to the Arduino. And then we also have a step and direction wire coming from the Arduino to the motor driver. Now, Back here we have um, another power wire and the Arduino powers the driver itself but then we have power coming from the HT60 here which is actually powering the motor itself. That way we don't overburden the Arduino and burn some stuff out. Lastly we have some power going to the limit switches and those limit switches are then in turn communicating with the Arduino here to let us know when those limit switches have been tripped. And that really sums up everything. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I know it looks like a big old rat nest here, but it works really well. So we're nearing the end of the project and the only thing that we really have left to do is to program it. So I hopped on over to Arduino and started a new sketch. And this was a really easy one, just a couple of variables, defining motor direction, checking the limit switches and such. Now I could have stopped there and just added a couple of monetary push buttons, but I want to go one step further. I have that Bluetooth module and I wanted to utilize it. So if you're an Android user, 
you can use what's called MIT App Inventor 2. And this is a really easy platform. It's web-based where you can go in and make apps for your phone. And that's exactly what I did for this application. I just hopped in there, made a simple graphic user interface, and programmed it to input to the serial what I wanted it to read. So I knew exactly what kind of data was coming in, what data was going out. And that really leaves us at the end of our drawer. So go ahead and check it out. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. I really think this prototype turned out well, and really the main purpose of it was to serve as a proof of concept in the future. If you're thinking of building something similar, then I'm going to leave some links down in the description of the different parts that I used. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and please leave a comment because I'd love to know your thoughts and ideas and consider subscribing as well. Thank you so much for joining me and until next time, take care.